Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another exciting Unity tutorial with me, Romy Fauzi. In this video, we are going to continue work on the third-person controller using Playmaker. And I'm going to add a edge or ledge climbing mechanics in this video. So this is what we are going to create. So basically now we can move around and I can jump to this wall here. And if I jump, it will grab the edge of the wall and then try to climb it. And we can go whenever there is a wall, we can try to climb the wall. So let's get started. But before we jump into the tutorials, if you want to learn how to create a game from scratch to a complete game, check out my online Unity courses. I've published a couple of courses covering best practices in game development with topics ranging from programming to visual tuning, desktop to a mobile platform, object-oriented programming, and many other useful tips. With the price of a takeaway, you'll get lifetime access to the course. Link in the description below. So the basic concept for a climbing system is that when the player jump, we are going to shoot rays from the head and the chest when falling to detect whether there is a wall or cliff in front of the player. Here in the illustration, when jumping then starts to fall, we can see two red rays from the player. And when those rays hits the wall, it turns to green. When both of the rays hits the wall, then the climbing animation will get triggered. And since the climbing animation contains root animation, we are going to trigger the parent position using a small helper script. So first I'm going to hide the terrain model here. And I've already prepared a prototype environment here. I'm going to unhide it. And we need a ground here. So I'm going to create a new ground and make this a very large in size. So around 25 by 25 on the X and Z axis and set the Y axis to a very small value. I'm going to change the color to a material that I've created. For the tall cube here, I've set the Y scale to 4. And you can adjust this depending on the, the jump strength of the player. So you can just adjust it. And I've also prepared a couple of assets here inside the folder here, animator. I've import a climbing animation that I've downloaded from Mixamo. And it is basically this animation here, this one here. And you can download it yourself. And here inside Unity, I've set the start to 27. So we don't need this extra animation here. We can start from the frame 27 up to the end here. And also I've set the root transform rotation to original, but I've checked all of the bake into pose option and set the root transform position Y to feed and for the root transform position XZ to center of mass. And also make sure that the rig is humanoid. By default, it's set to generic when we import a new FBX. And for the animator controller here, I've added a new state for climbing and add the climbing animation and set the speed to 1.2. Also, I've added a new bool parameter for climbing called climb. And basically this is for triggering the ledge climbing animation here. So as you can see from jumping, we have transition to the ledge climbing animation and it is triggered when the climb boolean value is set to true. And for the exit animation from the climbing to the idle, it's basically just using the has exit time here. And another thing that we need to set up is basically the base layer here. We need to enable the IK pass because we want to hook the hand position into the top of the cliff edges. So make sure the IK pass options is enabled. Now we need to set up a couple helper object for our player. I'm going to zoom to the player and I'm going to create a couple of empty game object. And this is going to be the chest position for the ray cast. And I'm going to duplicate this and this is for the head. So for the head, I'm going to set the Y position to around 1.6. And for the chest, I'm going to set the Y position to around 1.25. And I'm going to also add another empty game object. And this is for the right hand target. And this is going to be the target for our IK later when we are climbing. And I'm going to set its position to 0.35 on the X axis. And on the Y axis, I'm going to set this to 1.7. and on the Z axis, I'm going to set this to 0 0.7. And now we can duplicate this 
anti-game object. I'm going to change this to the left hand target. And for the left hand target, we can just set the X position to negative 0.35 and it will be on the other side here. Okay, so yeah, this is all of the empty game object that we need to set up for the player. And now for the child object that has the animator, I'm going to attach a script to drive the parent position when it plays the climbing animation later. And I'll put the link of the script in the description. But for the X and Z offset, I'm going to set it to 1.25. And this is for multiplying the position. It will offset the movement or the root motion of the animations much further to the front because this is the X and Z offset. Okay, we need to also add an FSM for the child object here. So I'm going to go to the Playmaker tab here and then create an FSM here. And I'm going to call the FSM hand IK control and I'm going to create a new state here and let's just call this hand IK enabled and on the start here I'm going to call this hand IK disabled and here I'm going to add a global transition and let's just call this reposition hand IK and I'm going to enable the broadcast or the global event here and add a global transition reposition and IK to the second state here and basically I'm going to add a get position action here and I'm going to grab the position for the each of the hand target here so the first one would be the right hand target and I'm going to save this to a local variable here so I'm going to create a vector variable and let's just call this right and position and I'm going to disable the every frame and also make sure the space is set to world let's just copy this action and set this for the left hand target and we need to save this to a new variable so this would be the left hand position and then we want to use the IK set animator IK goal so I'm going to use this action here and we want to set the right hand to be the right hand position and uh, we can set the every frame option checked and I'm going to pass this action and set this to the left hand and change the variable to the left hand position here for the position and basically this will lock our hand to the position near on the edge here and we want to also add a weight action so I'm going to add one and for the time I'm going to set this to two seconds I've already count this and this value would depend on the climbing animation so you need to test out if you're using different animation and I'm going to add a finish transition and send those finish transition and connect the finish transition to the first state here and here we can just copy the set animator goal action and paste it here and basically we want to set the position weight to 0 and also the rotation weight to 0 and here uh, we need to make sure that the rotation weight is also 0 so let's just set that okay so now we've finished working on the hand IK controller let's go to the player game object here and select the jump FSM and here we have the start jump and this is the falling and we need to create one new state here so I'm going to create a new state for climbing and add a finish transition and connect the finish to the first state and here for the falling we are not going to use the collision event anymore so let's just remove this but instead I'm going to use a raycast action so we can just use this and the first ray cast, we don't need to set anything on the position here, but we need to change the direction to negative one. So it will uh, shoot ray downward. And for the space, I'm going to set this to world. And for the distance, we can just set this to a very small value. For example, a 0 0.25. And if it hits something, then I want to send the finish event. So it means that we are going to land on the ground. 
and we can add a layer mask so I'm going to increase the layer mask value and set to the layer default here and then we want to also create another raycast for the chest raycast and the head raycast and this one uh, we can just pick from the chest game object here and for the direction we can just uh, we can just change this to self don't change it to world but we need to make sure that the direction is set to one on the z-axis so it will always shoot depending on the forward of the player game object so if the player is facing that way uh, for example if we rotate this here then the forward vector will face this direction here so let's just set this back to zero and for the distance uh, we can just set this to around two or yeah two should be enough we don't need a very long ray cast and when it hits something that we want to store it value to a boolean so i'm going to create a new variable and let's just call this chest hit and i'm going to set the layer mass also to one and to detect default layer i'm going to put this down here and uh, we can rename this raycast down and this one we can rename it to raycast chest and uh, we can duplicate this one here and for the other one we can just change this to the head empty game object here and we can rename this to raycast head and now we want to check for this boolean here uh oh sorry for the raycast head we need to change the store did hit value to a new variable and we can just create a head hit variable and now we have two boolean now we need to compare those boolean here so let's just use the boolean all true action and then we can set the boolean variable to two variables and pick the chest hit and the head head and we want to create a new event so i'm going to create a new event called climb and add that transition climb to this state here and when the boolean all true returns true value from both of this boolean variable we want to send the climb event and we need to make sure the every frame is checked so it will check every frame when we are falling and now we can connect the climb to this climb state here okay so for the climb state first we need to use a factor 3 multiply and uh, before we assign some value to the factor 3 multiply i forgot but i need to set up a factor here so on the raycast test we want to save the point normal which is the will be the cliff normal here when the ray shoots some information here it will receive the object that collides with the ray here so we can grab the normal so i'm going to save this to the cliff normal variable and this is a vector 3 variable and now i'm going to multiply the cliff normal variable by negative one because by default the normal uh, will face towards the surface direction and i want to invert this so it's facing inside of the surface instead and i'm going to add a smooth loop direction here and i'm going to make sure that this player here will face the inverted cliff normal when climbing so it will face perpendicular to the cliff surface and we can set the target direction to the cliff normal and for the up vector i'm going to set this to one on the y-axis and speed we can set this to a very high value around 10 and yeah that will be all for the smooth look at direction and next we need to also add a send event to send the event that we've prepared on the hand IK control FSM so let's just pick the game object FSM and specify game object and if we expand this we can drag the child object that has the animator component attached to it for the FSM name pick the hand IK control and we can send the reposition hand IK event here and now we need to set the kinematic of the rigid body to true so I'm going to drag the rigid body here and I'm going to set its property 
and let's search for the is kinematic so while we are climbing the gravity won't affect the player so i'm going to enable this and copy this action paste it here on the start i'm going to put this above and i'm going to disable the kinematic value on start here so whenever we reach the ground then we want to re-enable the gravity by disabling the is kinematic option and here I'm going to also use a set bool animator and on this state here we want to pick the child game object which has the animator component attached to it and basically we want to set the climb boolean variable to true and I'm going to copy this action and paste it here on the start state And here we have the grounded, but here I'm going to set the climb boolean to false. Whenever we reach the ground, we want to disable the climb boolean variable on the animator. And also here on the climb state, we need to also add a weight action. So I'm going to add one. And for the value, I'm going to set this to around 0 0.4. And again, I've passed this value against the climbing animation and your value may vary depending on your animation so let's just send the finish event here i'm going to save the scene and let's give it a try so now let's try to jump to this wall here and now there you go you can see we have a climb animation and it once we on the ground here it goes back to the ground state here so we can jump further here I'm going to jump to the that one and now you see we climb again okay we can test this regarding the rotation I'm going to disable the gizmo option here because it's flicker the screen and now this uh, smooth look at direction will help if we jump on a slightly uh, tinted direction for example if I facing this direction here and I jump when it climb it will face the surface but let's give it a try here if we disable this action here and then we try to climb facing this direction you see that it will face at an odd angle there so we need this action to prevent those kind of bugs from happening so yeah that will be all for this tutorial and with this system we don't need to create some sort of invisible collider to detect because we are using the raycast from the head and from the chest and when both of those raycast hits some uh, some sort of a wall or a cliff then we want to trigger the climbing state okay i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you like hit that like button and also subscribe for more unity tutorial with c sharp playmaker and bolt see you in the next video